Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? You guys, I just came here to chat with you guys. I don't even know what about, but I was like, see, eh, if I don't have content, let me just sit down and just chat away. It's been a while since I actually chatted like this. <laughs> since I actually chatted, like just, you know, putting on the camera or even chatting in person with people. Like, I haven't been talking to people for a while. I haven't even been going out. I haven't been doing much. I've just been inside my house watching Big Brother, <laughs> watching Love is Blind, watching all kinds of series, having fun with my husband, my children. I've just been living a quiet-ish life and I like it, you know, like this is, this is me, this is what makes me happy. I mean, other things make me happy, like, you know, my having my channel and stuff like that and, you know, interacting with other people. It makes me happy, happy as well. But if I did not have YouTube, if I did not have friends, if I did not have any other outlet, I would still be good. But I was just like, you're a YouTuber. You have to put out content. So come and chat with your, with your um, friends, your audience, your whatever, subscribers. Anyway, how you guys doing? So, um, today's my husband's birthday and I just did some things in the house, like cleaned some pieces in the house and also prepared dinner, even though it's still evening, but I've put some things in place for him to have a very nice dinner. I wasn't able to get him a birthday gift because I couldn't think of anything to get for him. I kept asking him, what do you want? What do you want? He doesn't want anything. I was just like, okay, I'll just give him a very nice dinner, but I told him I, I owe him one. So... Whenever we figure out something that he really wants or he really likes, I'll give it to him. You guys, I told my husband, let me give him money. He was like, I'm not looking for that kind of money. I said, first of all, hold up. You don't even know how much I want to give you. <laughs> See, finish of the highest level. You don't even know how much I want to give you. Are you telling me I don't need that kind of money? I say, Chai, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. But anyway, yeah. So, um, yesterday, my phone packed up, you guys. My Samsung... S23 that I bought last year it was not April I bought it I think can't remember sure but now I bought it is it either March or April because I know it was after Valentine's Day I got it for Valentine's or something like that anyway so I was just using the phone yesterday I think I was trying to order something on Amazon or something and the phone just went off so I was I was trying to put it on back I was thinking okay maybe the battery went off I was like but it wasn't showing low battery. Like, I, I wasn't even sure whether it was showing low battery or not. But I just felt like if it was showing low battery, I would have known. But it wasn't showing low battery. It just went off. I was like, okay, maybe it's not charged. I tried to charge it. It wasn't showing any signs of charging. It wasn't showing any signs of coming on at all. I shall left it to charge for a while, thinking, okay, eventually it will come on or it will show that it's charging. It didn't come on. Like, joke, like, joke, like, play, like, play. My husband came back. I gave him the phone. He took it to his car to use the wireless charging. The same thing. Only for me to now Google and see some people say that, oh, they've had issues like that before. My husband said, he tried, he tried different things. He even tried putting the phone inside the freezer. It has not come on. I'm like, what the hell? Like, what the hell? What kind of rubbish is this? This is the wrongest time for me to be trying to get a new phone, first of all. Because phones are freaking expensive. I wasn't even planning to change my phone anytime soon. I was planning to buy S26. Like, <laughs> what I have is S23. We are in 24. My plan was to buy X26. That's to tell you how much I wasn't planning to change my phone. No, 25. No, 26. Because my husband wants to buy... Because I told my husband I'll buy 25 for him next year. So I was like, okay, I'll buy 25 for you next year. And I'll buy 26 the upper year. So I wasn't planning to change my phone. But now I'm now stuck. I don't know what to do. All my apps, my phone apps, my banking apps, my shopping apps, everything is in there. And it's not coming on. I was like, okay... Let me go and look for price of phone. My husband was telling me I should go and buy iPhone. Because me, I told him that I'm not going to buy S24 when S25 will be coming out at least early next year. Why do I want to buy S24 in September when in maybe February or January uh, or even, no, I think January or February or whatever, the S20, the next one, I don't know whether they'll call it S25 or whatever, will be out. So if I want to buy a phone, why can't I just wait till that time and then buy the newer version? Why don't I start buying S24? When it's not so different from S23. Anyway, he now said I should go and buy iPhone. I'm like, the thought of buying iPhone, he said iPhone 16 is almost out or something like that. I should go and buy iPhone 16 or something. I don't even know. First of all, the thought of um, using an iPhone or only, or yeah, basically buying an iPhone, it just doesn't make sense to me because it feels like trying to use left hand in your old age. I have never had an iPhone. I've never used an iPhone. The only Apple products I've ever used is my laptop. Okay, that's the only Apple product I've ever owned or used. So, 
buying a an, an iPhone, it just feels like my parents have iPhones, my sister has an iPhone. But each time I try to use their phone, it always feels weird. Like some things don't work well. <laughs> like some things don't work well. I'm sorry, but some things don't work well. I'm like some processes that are very simple are difficult on iPhone. I'm like, what is this? What are people enjoying here? I had that same feeling though when I even got my MacBook. I was so frustrated, you guys. Like simple, simple open folder, close folder. You know, simple command, simple, simple backspace. Okay, uh, no, not back. Is it backspace? You know. On, on normal windows and stuff, there is deleting from front and deleting from back. But on on MacBook, you only have deleting from back. That you can delete characters this way, but you can't delete this way. You know, if you know, you know. Anyway, so I know how I struggled with this, but I, I really wanted it because of the editing software I use on the laptop. That's why I had a MacBook. So now I'm not going to say, hey, but you have a MacBook and buy an iPhone. I'm like, it doesn't work like that in my brain. Or whether they say ecosystem, it doesn't work like that. I rather struggle the way I struggle to, to send content. Like I always have to send, use a flash drive to collect um, videos from my phone and then send it to my laptop. I rather do that than go and buy an iPhone. But I'm just saying, you know, if you guys see me using an iPhone tomorrow, don't come and say, oh, but you said, uh, I change my mind every second. I can change my mind before this video is over and tell you I'm going to buy an iPhone. So please... Anyway, um, yeah, so, but that one is paying me, Shah. If I tell you, say, no, pay me, he pay me. Yeah, I was even trying to see if my husband will buy the phone for me. He was just like, from, from where to where? <laughs> from where to where? I'm like, I'm just a baby, oh. I don't used to buy phone for myself, oh. I don't, I don't used to buy phone for myself. <laughs> Things I don't used to buy for myself. I don't buy phone for myself. I don't buy perfume for myself, eh? I'm just a baby, please. Anyway, yeah, that's that about my phone. I feel really bad. But it actually opened my eyes. Well, it didn't actually open my eyes. I'm not even like I've always known. But you guys, I think I'm too attached to my phone. It almost felt like my arm was missing or my left eye was missing. Like I was almost fidgeting, like like an addict. Like my phone has to come on. My phone has to come on. I have this. I have that. I can't check this. I can't like relax. Yeah, relax. It's enough. You will not die. <laughs> You will not die if you don't have access to your phone. So, I've been without phone for going to 24 hours now. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm getting used to the idea of not having a phone for a while. I mean, I have my old phone, oh, my S21. Or is it S20? S21. I have my S21. But I don't even know where to start. Because I reconfigured that phone and put child lock and all those things and parental guidance. So, now I'm thinking of how to go and start removing all those things and then making the phone work for me. I'll eventually do it though, but right now I don't have the, the bandwidth for that. I have so much on my head. And then I want to talk about the unintentional weight loss that I have had. Okay. I'll call it unintentional. Because I did not actually actively try to lose weight. And that's why when people tell me, oh, you're losing weight. I'm like, no, I'm not losing weight because I'm eating as much as I was eating before. And I don't think I'm doing anything differently. But recent, in recent times, I have come to really think about it. And I was like, wait, oh. actually, okay. So now I want to start an intentional weight loss. I want to go on, a, I want to go on an intentional healthy journey. Okay, or I don't know what to call it, yeah, but, but not just weight loss. I want to start working out and stuff like that. I want to start building my muscles because I know it's very important. Okay, I want to start building my muscles. But fun fact, you guys, yesterday I got up, got my kids ready for school because Sophia has started school as well. So fantastic. I got my kids ready for school. I wore my sportswear. I was ready to go to a gym. I got a gym. I found out about a gym close to this, not so close, like it's nine minutes drive away, okay, about nine, ten minutes away, right? So I found the gym, I was like, okay, after I drop my kids at school, I'll go to the gym, I'll register, I'll start, because I want to have like a proper coach or a private um, tutor or whatever, what they call them, private trainer or something like that, like I really, I don't care how much it costs, I don't, yes, we're in their abroad, but whatever, because I'm like, why should I be putting, why should I be, why should I be scared of paying a private coach for that kind of thing? But if they tell me now to go and buy pizza of how much, I will not blink an eye. So I was like, no matter what it costs, no matter what it takes, I'm going to get a personal trainer, a personal trainer or a private coach or whatever. And I'm going to be serious about it. I want to build muscles. I want to blah, 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 blah. So after I dropped Cora, um, yeah, all of them at school, I now started driving to the police. Seven minutes felt like 17 minutes. 
I was like, I first passed one lonely road like this. Lonely but beautiful. Not lonely in the sense of how you think of lonely roads. So. Lonely but there was this field with horses, like, you know, grazing and stuff. Very nice looking road, right? Or so, um, scene, scenic, a scenic area, environment, whatever. So I was passing that place, passing that place. As I just because I was using map, right? As I passed that place and I entered one road, I now entered express. I was like, I'm sorry, I can't do this. I can't do this. I know myself. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that express. The moment I entered express, I'm like, so because I want to go and gym, I will enter express. I'll be driving. <laughs> Just to go and gym. I, beg, I, beg, I, beg. I know myself. For the first one week, I might be ginger. I know myself. After that, no matter how much I paid, I will just forfeit it. So I was just like, see, don't deceive yourself. You are you are a grown woman, okay? Even though I still tell myself that I'm still a young girl. <laughs> but I'm a grown woman. Like, I know myself, okay? I'm very, very self-aware. If it's one thing that, if there's anything about me, okay, if you know me very well, I am very, very self-aware. There is nothing factual that you can use to insult me that I don't already know about myself, okay? So that's why... I was like, see, you know these things. Don't deceive yourself. There's no point. Yeah, so I didn't go to the gym. But basically, before now, I was like, okay, you know what? I want to be intentional about this thing. I now took my weight. I went to weigh myself as per beginning of weight, weight loss. I had to go and weigh myself. And I was like, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up a second. I have actually lost weight from when I came to the UK. So, before I came to the UK, I gained a lot of weight. Well, let's say my regular weight was like, 113, 114 in Nigeria. Yes, 11. For people that say, oh, you're not that fat. 11. <laughs> you first count 100, then add 10 on top before you now start counting again. Anyway, so in Nigeria, I was like 113, 114. And then during that period where I found out that I'm coming to the UK and I said, you know, trying to pack all that stress I went through, I gained weight. Yes, I've said it a million and two hundred times that. I am someone who gains weight whenever I am stressed. If you see me losing weight, know that it's either it's very intentional, like I'm intentionally trying to lose weight or I'm having, I have peace of mind. But if you see me gain massive weight, just know that I am stressed because whenever I'm stressed, I want to eat. I'm not one of those people that used to be like, I'm heartbroken. I will not, I've never been heartbroken though. But well, let's just say heartbroken about general things, right? I'm heartbroken so I cannot eat. It can never be me. Oh, the work is too much. I cannot eat. I will find a way. <laughs> I will find a way. Pregnancy, pregnancy nausea. I can't eat. I will eat. I would endure the nausea, but I will eat. You know, um, breastfeeding makes me lose weight. Opposite for me, I, I even gain more weight after I give birth, right? Um, what else? Any circumstance you want to think of. Oh, she's not feeling fine. So she couldn't eat. Except eh, is medicine that's is choking me and I could not, I cannot eat. But even at that, if I feel hunger, I'm gonna eat. Okay, so eating has never been my problem. So that's why anytime I'm stressed out, I always gain weight. I remember when I used to be go to school and come back. I'll go to school and come back fatter. People will go to school and say exam stress, university stress, secondary school stress, they come back slimmer. I used to come back fatter. The only time I lost weight in secondary school was because I was intentional about it. I used to go and run. Almost every day, almost every morning, I used to reduce what I was eating. Secondary school, low, I used to, you know, be careful about I was on a diet, basically. That was when I lost weight. But other times, I'll go to school, come back fatter. I'll go through life hurdles. I'll go through issues, come out bigger. <laughs> I used to come out a bigger person. So after I gained that weight, and I, I remember that when I got to the UK, when I got to this house, especially, when I got to this house, we had a scale in the bathroom. I stood on that scale, and I was 118 okay a hundred add 10 and then add eight on top okay point something though. i still add point something <laughs> so yeah i was i was that big and i felt it but it was not that bad okay because i'm someone that maybe the way my body is and the way i carry weight is not as obvious as it would be on other people okay i think because i'm even I'm even taller. It's not as obvious on me as it would be on someone who is shorter. I knew it wasn't good, but I was just like, whatever, like, I can't market myself. It's just, it is what it is. So I was there for a very long time. I know I lost some weight at some point, like one or two kg, you know, but it wasn't really anything major because me, I know that, in fact, you can't, if you skip, if you have a big dump the night before in, or in the morning and you skip breakfast, if you weigh yourself, you can be one kg less. So I don't, I don't take a one kg or a two kg weight loss as anything. Okay. So 
um yeah i was just carrying on but i noticed that at some point i wasn't as hungry as i used to be not that i wasn't as hungry i wasn't eating as much as i used to eat because most times i will prepare food like i wasn't eating as much normal food like i used to eat right so most times i'll prepare food and because I don't want to have leftovers or something, I will not prepare enough for five, for six, five of us. So most of the time, I will just serve my husband, serve the kids, and maybe pinch from one or two person's food, pinch from my husband's food, and that's it. Like, I will not serve myself proper meal. Especially when it's Eba. I'm not really a fan of Eba. Even though we eat Eba almost every, every, every two nights in this house. I'm not a fan of Eba. I'm not a fan of soup, except, like specific soups and that specific soup it, it must be cooked very well like i must cook it not even other people don't know um to me i'm the best cook i know <laughs> in case you don't know i am the best cook i know i prefer my food to anybody's food in this world it doesn't matter who the chef is like I, it doesn't mean i'll hate your food though but i'll prefer my own right yeah so but it depends on the certain soups i must eat like i can eat or have soup anyhow but you see all this normal okra soup begosi soup vegetable soup yeah i can do without it so I know that I'll serve food, I won't really eat. Uh, I'm just gonna take popcorn. That's a bad habit though. Am I gonna take popcorn and eat? Am I gonna take one snack or the other and eat? Or am I not even eat any snack at all? I just drink water or drink um my kombucha or something, right? Um then I noticed that okay, when I now started at some point I started buying a lot of kombucha um apple cider vinegar and coconut water, right? I've only shown you guys before. So I used to just drink these things, and anytime I drink them subconsciously i did not know that well yeah what well, consciously i did not know that it was making me not making me not as hungry as i used to be or making me lose weight but subconsciously i knew right i hope that makes sense like i know that these things can help you lose weight because you are feeling your tummy first of all the kombucha and the um, apple cider vinegar have this uh, culture that helps to heal your gut's God's biome, God's bacteria or stuff like that. You guys know. So, and then helps to regulate your blood sugar. But when it comes to the coconut water, I just take it mainly because I like it. And whenever I take it, it satisfies thirst for me even more than water. Right? So, I was taking all these things. I was losing weight, but I wasn't really conscious of it. I, I didn't really care. Okay, that's just the truth. I didn't really care because I didn't drop like one dress size. I was still wearing my 2XL or my 1XL like I normally wear. So it wasn't a problem. I didn't change clothes. I mean, I bought new clothes because of film, filming videos back to back, especially hair videos. But I wasn't like changing clothes because ah, my clothes is now, there's now space here. There's not, nope. Even this one I'm wearing, I'm wearing it, I bought it since. Anyway, um, so I did not know that I was losing weight until I now weighed myself and I was like, eh, I've actually lost 10 kg, 10 whole kg without trying. Okay. Now, another thing I was doing was whenever I drop Ava at school, okay, because all my, we go to drop Eva first before we go to drop Cora before we now drop Sophia. I drive Triangle every morning. Well, any morning that Sophia goes to school, I drive Triangle. So what I was doing then was anytime we get to Eva school, I used to go and park at one far place, even if there's parking space. So because we had this habit of we'll park at a far place, then we'll race to her school, like we'll race each other to to um, Eva's class. You'll see me as big as I am, old woman like this, I'll be running, I don't care. Like, that's what I like about this place. I don't care, I don't bloody care. Like, whatever, I, I already stand out because I'm a black person in a white dominated uh, uh, school. Uh, yeah, like, there's no point hiding myself, okay? So I can, I do whatever I want to do. So anyway, um, so I'll pack at that far place and then we'll run to Eva's class and then me and Cora, I mean me, Cora and Sophia will run to Eva's class. So we'll stop in between though. We'll stop, catch our breath and continue running. We'll see who's going to be the winner. Normally I run behind them so I can watch them. And then sometimes we allow Sophia, we cheat so Sophia will win. But Eva was always the fastest. So we'll just run to Eva's class, drop Eva and then run back to the car, right? So after I started doing that, that was when I think it started clock. I started clocking that this thing is actually making me lose weight because after I started doing that, I noticed that I was feeling a bit lighter, but still I didn't really like pay attention to it until I now weighed myself and I was like, ah, I'm actually ten whole kg lighter without trying. Now I am more than ten kg lighter but i have started trying by started trying i mean i've tried to i started trying to watch exactly what i'm eating but as for exercise i have not yet started 
exercising and that is bad because I can feel my body being very loose. Is it loose? I'll call it flabby. Yeah, I can feel loose skin somehow, even though you can't really hold it loose skin, but I can feel it because I have very soft skin on a normal day. Like my body is a very, I have a very soft body on a normal day, like literally very soft body. It's not even a flexing thing because it's not good. You, you look wrinkly easy, easily. I feel, I feel if you're gray older or if you lose weight, you have excess skin easily. I feel so yeah so i started noticing it so i want to start firming up i want to start exercising i bought dumbbells yeah i bought dumbbells and my husband they use them i'll tell him you have to push me you have to encourage me anytime you want to use the dumbbells because i bought two sets i bought three kg and five kg anytime you want to use anytime you want to use the dumbbells please call me so that we'll do it together he will say okay he will now call me baby come let's go and exercise that's when my excuses will start Hey, my tummy is spinning me. Hey, my leg. Ah, I didn't sleep well. Hey, I need to go and prepare food. Oh, I need to wash plates. Ah, I need to edit this video. Oh, I need to reply this comment. Hey, I need to reply this email. Hey, I want to. My head is turning. <laughs> I don't know how that man even copes with me as a wife because I can be a handful. Of, forget what people are saying. I can be a handful. Of, in a in a subtle way, not in a very like harsh way, but I can be a handful. I can be I can be a baby. Oh. Hey, this is nice to call myself. I like soft life. I like soft life. Oh. Now condition make me day like this. I love soft life. <laughs> now condition keep me where I did. So yeah, now that I'm being intentional about it, I'm going to try and, you know, work out. I'm going to try and watch what I eat. I'm already doing that. I'm also going to do intermittent fasting. That's the one I still struggle with because anytime I'm, I'm the one in charge of food, 247. So anytime I'm preparing food for my children, how am I going to make one delicious sandwich and not just take out of it? How am I going to make a delicious, you know, even oatmeal, all those things, and I won't take out of it? It's, it's, it's very, very difficult, but I have to try. But yeah, I've lost over 10 kg in a space of let me say four months i want to say eight months but it didn't start eight months ago i think i or maybe i noticed it after my trip to london because everybody kept saying oh you've lost it and i was like okay this thing must be obvious if everybody's saying i've lost it so that's that's about that um yeah so sophia started school yay she's, she's going three times a week and i finally finally now understand that 15 hours thing that people will be telling me because i asked that question several times are you supposed to apply for it are you supposed to do this one they say you're supposed to get a code i now realize that 15 hours for most people most immigrants 15 hours is free just like the way Cora was able to go to school without school fees, even Sophia was able to go to public school without school fees. That's the same way Sophia is entitled to 15 hours if she's over the age of three, right? But if you have access to public funds or if your salary is below a certain amount, then you can now apply and you'll get 30 hours for children above three and you'll get 15 hours for children below three or below two. I'm not sure um, because people kept telling me oh they are entitled to 30 hours no i am not entitled to 30 hours i told my husband to even apply he tried to apply they told us sorry basically we don't qualify let me put it that way based on salary basis based on salary basis we don't qualify for 30 hours i even tried to say okay let me see if i will apply from my angle but i think that you have to declare your family income or something like that Sha. so for those who are still confused about that thing i am not entitled to 30 hours I am only entitled to 15 hours and my visa, I don't have access to public funds. Not like I care anyway. Please, they should cut their wallet and go. <laughs> because I have people say things like, oh, if you if you don't have access to public funds and you go and access public funds, they can deny you one thing, one thing. I'm like, I beg, I beg, I beg. You should cut your wallet and go, I beg. Um, but I'm happy that she's going to school now. Even though I wish I had taken five days, I have told them in their school to please add extra like if they are slots for any extra day or extra two days i'll be very very happy but they don't have they say they only have friday and we already have the flight friday slots so we don't have but i wish i wasn't because when they, when i first applied for this thing i got the opportunity to get the five days but i was looking at the money now i'm asking myself okay what do you gain because sometimes when you come to a country like this here, see just work hard and forget about how much things are but when you're still using nigerian money, because then i'll be like how will i pay how much for one day for sophia going to school do you know that's how much in Naira and I can't be paying it just so that she can go to school, you know, but it doesn't matter, I beg, if you're working hard, if you're making money, just anything you need to do, just go ahead and do it, anything you need to pay, 
just go ahead and pay it and make your life easier. The good thing is that now that Sophia is um, at home, Sophia has gotten used to being at home. So it's not really a problem. Like, like she didn't go to school today and it wasn't a problem. I didn't need to engage her extra just that she'll be hungry almost every every five, five minutes. But that's not a problem. I always have things to give her. Um, but yeah. I just wish I had added extra time. Ah, that is what I have been up to lately. I miss my family though. I miss my brother. I miss my sister. I miss my parents. I miss my family. Though. Seriously. I'm even considering going back to Nigeria. Yeah. I miss my family. Like, visiting Nigeria. I really miss my family. Mm. I think that's what, that's what would have made my stay in this UK more complete. If my, I had family around yeah i would have my stay would have been more would have felt more complete even if i'm not seeing them every day as long as they are around you know that your person is in your vicinity or is is accessible easily accessible and hey. but knowing that one person day canada one person day nigeria it, it's yeah so i miss my family but i'm good i'm fine but yeah i'm good i'm happy i'm fine yeah, if you have any video ideas, let me know. I will get to film them. If you have any questions for me, I will also respond. Um, yeah, I just came to chat with you guys and give you guys a little bit of an update, life updates. And yeah, that's it.